I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. White Sox vs Guardians My team pick is Guardians. The Guardians have been playing their best baseball early on in the season and now that they are back at home against the struggling White Sox, I expect them to pour it on and continue to hit the ball all over the yard. Michael Soroka struggled in his last start, and the White Sox have been struggling offensively for the entire season up until this point, which makes facing Logan Allen, who is 2-0 so far this season, a tough matchup for the White Sox. Take the Guardians minus 1.5 runs. Brewers vs Reds My team pick is Brewers. The Reds starting pitcher, Frankie Montas, has had a strong start to the season which is why the book has posted the Reds as a minus 144 favorite. This is much too high as the Brewers have been more consistent on offense and even made the game last night close after falling behind by 8 runs early. Additionally, though both teams used a decent chunk of bullpen last night, the Brewers were fresh because they only needed one the night before. This will allow the Brewers to replace Ross, as he'll most likely see 5 at the most, and stay competitive. Ultimately, there will be weather in effect here with a 50% chance of rain which could slow the quick reds down a tad and disrupt one of their strengths. Additionally, there won't be much of a crowd to help spur them on. Plan on the Brewers getting back on track here and grab the plus money. Mariners vs Blue Jays My team pick is Blue Jays. The Blue Jays will face George Kirby of the Seattle Mariners and he is coming off a rough outing against the Guardians where he surrendered 9 hits, 6 earned runs, and 8 total runs in just 3.2 innings pitched. This recent performance suggests vulnerabilities in Kirby's pitching, which the lineup of the Blue Jays, featuring star players like Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Springer, and Bo Bichette, is well equipped to exploit. These players possess the power and consistency to capitalize on any weaknesses in Kirby's pitching, potentially leading to a high-scoring game in favor of the Blue Jays. Additionally, considering the Blue Jays' overall offensive strength and the Mariners' struggles in recent matchups, betting on the Blue Jays at minus 120 offers a favorable risk-reward proposition for those seeking to capitalize on the matchup. Marlins vs Yankees My team pick is Yankees. The Yankees are tied with a couple of other teams for the most wins in baseball while the Marlins only have one win. New York shut out Miami in this interleague series opener and they rank in the top 9 in the majors in both team ERA and runs scored while the Marlins do not rank in the top 22 in either category. Rodon has pitched pretty well giving up 3 runs in 9 and 2 thirds innings and he will pitch well in this game facing a Miami lineup that only had 2 hits in game 1. On the other side of the coin, the Yankees will get to PUK, who has given up 8 runs in only 6 innings of work in 2 starts. New York will get their fourth win in a row in this game and they will also win by at least two runs, so take the run line to get better odds. Yankees run line minus 1.5 runs. Mets vs Braves My team pick is Braves. Adrian Hauser is 0-4 with an ERA of 4.88 and 26 strikeouts in six appearances versus the Braves in his career. With the Mets starting pitcher having struggled in the past against the Braves, I am going to look toward them to get revenge after yesterday. While the Mets did keep the game close yesterday, if they allow too many runs early against the Braves I believe they will, then the Braves will win this game easily and cover their spread. I am taking the Braves on the run line at minus 1.5 runs. Astros vs Royals My team pick is Astros. Houston is sending righty Christian Javier to pitch and he is doing incredibly well in the young season as hitters are only hitting .135 against him to begin the year. He was able to pick up the win against the Toronto Blue Jays last time out as he pitched 5 shutout innings and only allowed 1 hit. However, his control was a bit out of control with 5 walks compared to 3 strikeouts. Javier has incredible stuff and should be a dark horse for the AL Cy Young Award this season. Dodgers vs Twins My team pick is Dodgers. Tyler Glasnow has been able to pitch at a great level when healthy and he is not dealing with any ailments right now. 
the Dodgers are full of superstars all over the field and should be able to continue their great start to the regular season. This Twins team is not looking too great offensively, and that also puts a lot of pressure on the pitching staff to be perfect. The ability to hit home runs is a great skill to have as a lineup, and there is a significant gap in the early stages in this category. Right now, Los Angeles is 5th with 26.12 at-bats per home run this season while Minnesota is the worst in the entire big leagues with 65.00 at-bats in between home runs. This Twins team is not hitting well enough to have a huge lack of power as they have 17 total extra base hits through 8 games, which is not nearly enough. With the talent littered throughout the Los Angeles Dodgers lineup and Tyler Glasnow on the mound, expect the Dodgers to dominate in this game and take an easy victory in interleague play. My team pick is Los Angeles Dodgers minus 1.5 runs. Phillies versus Cardinals My team pick is Cardinals. Taking the mound for the Cardinals on Tuesday will be veteran Sonny Gray who makes his Cardinals debut after just being activated off the 15-day IL, but after posting the lowest ERA of his career since 2015 last season, there's reason to be confident after he notched 184.0 innings of work. Last time out for the Cardinals was a loss to these Phillies, with the staff keeping it close enough to go to extra innings, but even with the stellar 6.2 innings of work from McCullough's, it wasn't enough to stop them from falling 5-3 in a dramatic affair. Athletics vs. Rangers My team pick is Rangers. The Oakland Athletics do not have a good roster and we explained how Alex Wood is struggling while the Texas Rangers are having Nathan Evaldi, who is incredible on the mound thus far. The Rangers are 5th in the sport with a .789 team OPS while the Athletics are 24th in the majors with a .632 team OPS thus far as a lineup so there is a major difference there. The name of the game is getting hits and there is a major gap as the Texas Rangers are 3rd in all of baseball with a .277 team batting average while the Oakland Athletics are down at 24th here as well with a .212 team batting average up to this point. Go with the Texas Rangers to dominate at home and cover the run line in this game. Diamondbacks vs Rockies My team pick is Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks have lost 4 of their last 5 games. Despite their slump, they are playing well offensively, scoring 15 runs in their last 3 games. Expect them to play well offensively in this game because they've hit the ball well against right-handers and Quantrill didn't look good on the mound in his 2 starts, giving up 9 runs. He gave up 9 runs in his last 2 starts against the Diamondbacks and with Colorado having the second worst bullpen in the league, they will have a hard time slowing down the Diamondbacks in this game. The Rockies have lost 6 of their last 7 games. They are playing well offensively and scored 18 runs in their last 3 games. Don't expect them to play well offensively in this game because Kelly has done a great job on the mound for the Diamondbacks, giving up 3 runs in 2 starts. He is 6-3 against the Rockies and gave up only 5 total runs in his last 4 starts against them, so expect him to keep Colorado's offense in check. Go with Arizona to cover the run line. Rays vs Angels My team pick is Angels. Civil has been far too erratic a hurler to trust, even with his high strikeout rate. The Angels have homered their last two games against him, and with their ability to extend hits and stay disciplined at the plate, they should get the better of him here again. Sandoval racked up 7 Ks in his last start, and he'll look to keep that momentum rolling as he faces an inconsistent Tampa Bay lineup. Take Los Angeles money line. Nationals vs Giants My team pick is Giants. The Giants have won two of their last three games. They struggled offensively in recent games, scoring only six runs in their last three games. Expect them to break out offensively in this game because Gray hasn't looked good on the mound this season, giving up 13 runs in his last two starts. With Washington's bullpen also struggling, they will have a hard time slowing down the Giants in this game. The Nationals have lost three of their last four games. They have also struggled offensively and scored only 5 runs in the last 3 games. Their offensive struggles will continue in this game because they are batting under .200 against left-handers, and Harrison has done a good job on the mound, giving up 6 runs in his last 2 starts, so don't expect them to be able to keep up with the Giants in this game. Go with San Francisco to cover the money line. Cubs vs Padres My team pick is Padres. The pitcher has yet to be identified for the Cubs, but I trust Joe Musgrove to get the job done against the Cubs. Chicago's bullpen isn't exactly a reliable unit either. While San Diego shipped out Juan Soto, they still have elite talent across the lineup, 
and they will look to prove themselves even further in a surprisingly disappointing NL West thus far. San Diego has won three of their last four against the Cubs, and I believe the Cubs are playing a bit better than expected at the moment. I'm going to take the money line for San Diego now, but check back to see if the spread might be more beneficial for us. Take the Padres on the money line. 